Hi, Taurus. This is your behind the scenes reading for March 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for March 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for March 2022 universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of taurus for march 2022 show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so taurus <laughs> the more i try listen taurus these are your cards honey so taurus you have the three of swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is heartbreak, this is pain, this is suffering, this is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party, but this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing you heartbreak. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that your feelings are hurt here. However, you can tell me that there was a third party causing this heartbreak. Clarify the three of swords for Taurus. Clarify the three of swords for Taurus. Clarify the three of swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Taurus, listen, very well could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Taurus, clarify the chariot. For Taurus, clarify the chariot. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take charge, a take charge type of energy. Someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Like I said, you could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done, and makes things happen with a lot of passion so you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here taurus you guys may be a couple here clarify the king of wands for taurus clarify the king of wands for taurus clarify the king of wands for taurus okay so clarify the king of wands for taurus clarify the king of wands for Taurus, clarify the King of Wands. For Taurus, it is clarified with you, Taurus, 
or Aries, the emperor. The emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually a older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern, someone who wants complete control and authority. So Taurus, this is you. Mm -hmm. Clarify the emperor for Taurus. Clarify the emperor for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the emperor for Taurus. It is clarified with the nine of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Taurus, listen, you're telling me that you're hurt here, okay? So yes, you could be overindulging, trying to numb out, wanting to just move away from the situation here. However, Taurus, you can tell me that you're feeling smug because you're getting ready to make some type of move here because you have hurt feelings and you're moving on hurt, but you could be feeling smug because you're about to make some type of move, maybe physically moving. Taurus, you have the page of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication, but this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Taurus, listen, very well could have been some type of immature, premature communication head here. Mm -hmm. However, you could tell me that you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Taurus. Clarify the page of swords for Taurus. Clarify the page of swords for for Taurus. It is clarified. Oh my goodness, Taurus. With the three of swords again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing you heartbreak. So Taurus, listen, yes, you guys could have had some immature, premature communication and the things that they, were, that they said hurt you to your heart. However, Taurus... You could have went looking and spying and discovered that there was a third party or discovered something that really hurt you here. Taurus, you have the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Taurus, listen. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting here. You can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. Let's go out and drink and toast to my singleness. Or Taurus, you're telling me that there's a third party. Clarify the three of cups for Taurus. Clarify the three of cups for Taurus. Clarify the three of cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a fated event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that everything has changed here. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. But this could also be about divine timing. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. For Taurus, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Taurus, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Taurus, it is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Taurus, listen, you could be weighing things up, trying to decide here that maybe in time you guys can reunite. But Taurus, I feel like it very well could be about divine timing here because you could have went looking and saw something and discovered a third party juggling going on here. I don't know if you was in the right place at the right time to discover something, Taurus. 
Taurus, you can tell me that everything changed between you guys because there was a third party that this person was juggling here, Taurus. Taurus, you have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Taurus could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords, coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're making a decision here because someone had other options and explored some of those other options. There could have been lies or illusions here. Taurus, you may be all up in your head trying to decide here needing to make a choice, a decision, trying to figure out what to do, where to go. Things may look a little hazy as to what to do here, Taurus. I feel like you're wanting to make a move, though. <clears throat> Taurus, you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out, may even be coming in with a romantic gesture. So Taurus, someone is saying, I'm sorry. So yes, you have to make a decision. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? You know, I don't know what I should do. You know, maybe, I don't know, should I, shouldn't I? Need some time, whether or not we're going to reunite here. Things may change. We might reunite. I don't know. The apology is here. But I see hurt and pain and juggling going on here. <sighs> Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. What says you, Taurus? Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Taurus, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're following your destiny, you're getting your wish here. You can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile here. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision. But you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge. A lack of information. Block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off. Not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Taurus, listen. This apology is coming in and maybe you're indecisive on whether or not you just want to heal individually on your own or whether or not you're going to heal things, mend things, work things out with this person after all this heartbreak and pain here. However, Taurus, they could be coming in with this apology and you're completely blocking them, Taurus, because you're wanting to heal individually on your own. You know, I just feel like you're indecisive here because this is you needing to make a decision. This is you as a king of swords coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision, a decision, a decision. Taurus, on rather to reunite with this person here after finding something out. So I feel like you're still contemplating being with this person. Taurus, this is your behind the scenes reading for March 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.